So I want to talk about uh, four note uh, scales, tetratonics. And uh, I want to show a couple that I think are really useful uh, in, and very applicable to, uh, to uh, like, they can be laid over top of, you know, so many, so many chords uh, because they just, they don't really, uh, I mean, they're sort of minimal by design. You know, typical scales are, you know, you've got your seven note, seven unique tones in a scale. And uh, in this case, we're dealing with four. Uh, so it's kind of stripped down. And, uh, you know, I like that. I like that because it's like, you know, you can play all the notes. But when you decide to be selective about which notes you play, it gets, uh, I think it forces, it challenges you to kind of become more creative and more inventive. Um, you know, if somebody says, play me an interesting idea in uh, in G major, you know, if, if, and then they say, well, I only want you to use like three notes. Y you're gonna start thinking, well, how can I, how can I use what three notes first and then how can I be innovative with the rhythms or the um, the patterns I play across those? So this idea of like stripping stuff back, I think is a useful tool to, um, it's just something interesting to keep in mind when you're playing, you know, you don't have to play all the notes. Uh, you don't have to do anything. There's no rules. It's just something to be, you know, to consider. Um, anyway, so the, the, the tetratonic scales I want to show you, uh, are the, I'm going to show you a major and a minor, and they're both, they're basically subsets of, of the major scale and the minor scale. And, uh, I'm going to show you the major one first in our favorite key, G major. So, uh, for G major... <laughs> So we've got uh, the first degree, the second degree, the third, and the fifth. There's your four. There's your four notes. Okay. For uh, for the minor scale, we're gonna take the. Minor, we're going to take the natural minor scale and we're going to play the first, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. And you've probably seen that used in a, in a million rock and roll tunes, both of those, in like folk songs. Um, they're minimal and they're and they're cool and so what i like to do <clears throat> is um you know like if 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 i'm playing around you know over you know a major or minor chord i might say okay well, let's see what i can do with just those four notes you know so some obvious things you can do with this and i like to sort of see these two things as they're scales, but they kind of, they're, they, they're, they're sort of chord tones too. I mean, if you think about this major one, you've got a root, a second, a third, and a fifth. You know, you, you basically have the makings of a G major uh, add nine. With the minor, you've got you've basically got a minor at eleven, uh, which and they're, those are both very colorful, like sounding chords, very musical sounding uh, they, they they're 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 more than just a you know they're they're more than just a triad. Uh, 
just a there's just an extension in both of them that are both like quite lovely sounding i think so here's what i like to do and i got this from my brother who's a mad guitar player uh and he he introduced me to this idea uh, not with these sh not with this shape of this idea of like learning learning those in their different like um, their different inversions if you, if you think of this as a chord if you think of that as an accord or arpeggio well how could you start inverting that so you get this that that would be uh, you know no inversion inversion one would be so inversion two would be so it's basically got one two three like inversions for that four note scale and they sound cool uh you can kind of pick one and and maybe like riff over that and of course you can do all, all the things i love to do with th you know uh add passing tones and whatnot you know tweak uh, um, but there's some cool shapes there that i think are are worth learning um, you know, like there's some, uh, over a G. Uh, uh, minor, same kind of thing. So there's the inversions, obviously. So I'm trying to kind of learn some of those shapes because I think there, there's some power in that minimalist approach. There's some cool jumps there too, you know, in that sort of a scale shape. You've always got that um, that perfect fourth. I mean, if you just look at what you get here, you got a, you know, it, it, let's look at the major one first. You get a a whole tone jump, a whole tone jump, a minor third, and a perfect fourth. Uh, there's so there's lots of there's lots of space between those a lot of negative space between those the minor you've got this uh, minor third whole tone between those whole tone and then a perfect fourth again that the, there's some big the, the, there's some big jumps there very cool <laughs> You know, when the 
are played sort of like in an arpeggio like way <laughs> Uh, you can kind of cover a lot of ground with uh, a lot of distance. Um, anyways, try those shapes out over uh, over some chords, and be mindful of the other inversions and 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 what what sounds they have in their own right um you know if you th if you think of those for example if you imagine this as a key where these are the or in a modal context you know you've got this first mode in this in this particular tetratonic has its own sound second mode would be it's got this sort of major six uh six nine very very uh you know that shape can be used over major obviously you know and then we get this shape got a very like sus kind of sound you know or like a dominant seven kind of sound and then of course uh, What is that? That's like kind of like a sus four augmented five. Um, of course, they're all just built off of this four note scale. You could almost consider those the modes of those tetratonic four note scales. Um, yeah, so uh, they're cool. I like them. And uh, there's just tons of room in the middle to, to, to add like passing tones. And, you know, you can always, uh, and you can tweak these too, right? Like uh, you might take the five in that. And lower it and get more of a diminished sound, you know. Uh, same thing with the major version. Get this sort of like whole tone sound. Um, and on and on, of course, as I do. Um, could lower the second in that one be kind of cool or even raise the second what would that do powerful these can sort of start to become and uh, you know are those usable over a major I I think so you just tweak the two or the five they're both sort of like color color tones um, you know you, you take the minor one in, uh, and and let's say raise the the fourth or, or even lower the fourth 
um, you'd end up getting, uh, sorry, uh, you could, uh, we already raised the fourth, you could, uh, Lower the fifth, I think we showed that. We, um, could raise the fourth. sound that's what I'm trying to do 